Hello guys, welcome to the fourth tutorial of Android instrumentation testing. I am Ajit. In this tutorial, we will be seeing more of view matchers. So if you recall in our last tutorial, we saw two view matchers. One is with text and another one is is displayed, right? So in this tutorial, we will see more view matchers and we will add more view assertions in our test, right? So let's start with it. So we'll write our second test and we'll be asserting these elements on the UI, right? So we have these multiple elements and let's see how we can assert them. I have listed down all the matches which I want to discuss in this particular tutorial. So we'll start with with spinner text. So what this with spinner text does is it checks the selected value of the spinner, right? So in our case, we have this spinner and the selected value is food, right? So we, we can assert that the default selected value is food, right? So let's start with that. First of all, we'll select the spinner. So let's start with that expense type, right? Now we have selected the spinner. Now let's assert matches with spinner text and text is food, right? Now our next matcher is, is completely displayed, right? So we have two, one is is displayed and one is is completely displayed. Is displayed will pass even if 90% of the view is visible on the UI, right? If we have element A which is visible only 90% 90 on the UI, the is displayed matcher would pass. But what if you want to make sure that your element is completely visible on the UI. That's when you use this particular matcher, right? So let's apply it on expense type itself and say in matches, it should be completely displayed, right? Cool. Now let's run the test and see how we have done so far. It's compiling the project and test is running. Cool. So far, both of our assertion passed, right? Now let's discuss about hash symbling, right? So sometimes what happens is you have a container or a linear layout and inside that linear layout you have multiple elements and you want to make sure that all the elements are present at one level, right? So if we look at our new expense XML, I have this particular linear layout right and in that particular linear layout I have multiple elements right these three elements cool so let's make sure that all these elements are sibling of each other right so we'll we can start with amount and see that amount has sibling expense type and button this particular button add expense right so let's start with that so I'll select amount with id r dot id dot amount dot check matches has sibling and we can check for the expense type itself right so we are saying that amount is the sibling of expense type, right? We can also say that expense type is sibling of this particular button, right? Add expense. Or we can do this as well. Amount is sibling of again expense type as well, right? So this is how sibling will work. If we run the test, it should pass. Next, we will discuss about as descendant. Cool, our test is passing. So now let's see what is as descendant. So let's say you have a container, right? And container have multiple elements. You want to make sure that my container has this particular element inside this. That's where you will use hash descendant, right? So let's see what container do we have. Okay, 
we have this particular container add expense container and it has multiple elements so let's assert that amount is present inside this particular container right so let's do that on view with id r dot id dot expense container add expense container check matches has descendant r dot id dot amount right with id so we are saying that add expense container has a descendant amount right so this should also pass and let's also discuss about the uh, is descendant of so what we can do is we can write is write it in opposite fashion so let's say i have this amount on view with id r dot id dot amount dot check matches and i'm saying is a descendant of a descendant of a with id and r dot id dot add expense container right so we can write it in both the fashion we can say okay this container contains the element or we can say this element is inside this particular container both would work so let's run the test and see again our test is green cool so now let's discuss about is clickable right so is clickable will return true only if your element is clickable so in this case let's ta let's take our button right add expense button and make sure that it's clickable on view with id uh, dot id dot our add expense button check matches is clickable right our button should be clickable good so now let's see what this with effective visibility matcher is so what this matcher says is if you want to make sure that a view is visible on your screen maybe it's not available on the screen you may, might have to scroll and then the view might be visible later but it will make sure that the view has this particular visibility right so unlike is displayed is displayed needs needs your 90 percent view on the ui or is completely displayed matcher needs 100 percent of your view on the ui but with effective visibility you can search in the whole hierarchy and see if element has visibility of this kind or not right so let's see we'll take the same add expense and make sure that it has with visibility effective visibility and that visibility would be visible right cool so let's run the test again and make sure they are passing Our test passed good so now we are left with these two all of and within it. so there can be scenarios where selecting an element is a tedious task right you might want to give two queries while selecting your element right so this is the part where we select the element and so far we have we are giving only id right what if you have a text which is present inside a particular container right and you have 
multiple text of that kind but present in different containers so let's see how we, we would select that particular element so we will take the example of this so I want to see if this particular edit text box is displayed with this hint and also available inside this container right so there are two conditions it should be available in this container plus it should have this hint right so let's see how we will do that so again we will select on view and here we will use one special matcher called all of right all of and in this we can pass multiple view matches so let's say with hint and hint is what would I do amount right and another condition is is descendant of with id and the id is our container so this is the container yeah so there are two things now one i am selecting hint and it should be descendant of add expense container right and then check that it is displayed all right so now i have two things in my query so this is the part which selects the view right it checks for the hint plus the element should be descendant of this particular container and then assert that that particular element is displayed right similarly we have a lot of view matches in this view matcher class you can go through them and they have pretty good documentation and read them and try to use them in your project right this is pretty rich and you can do almost everything using these view matches there are too many of them right like with content description that I, I have not discussed in any of the tutorials yet so as sibling we discussed it uh, has focus when element has the focus that's when you can assert with this particular matcher right is focusable you can assert if an element is focusable or not is enabled right similarly you have lot more matches and you can check if a percentage of your view is displaying on the screen or not you can pass the percentage right so that's all for this tutorial for the next video stay tuned and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video